I wanted to bring this up. There's we had talked about this in the past, but this is a, a story about Miss Excel. So her name, she calls herself Miss Excel. And I don't know if you've ever seen her. I don't think you're a big TikTok guy, but I am. I had seen I this am. person going viral on TikTok. And basically it's a woman who puts out like Microsoft Excel tips and tricks, like little hacks, like, oh, you know how your um, things are always like poorly formatted? Just put pushed like, you know, command G uh, when you're whole, hovering over the column and look, it auto formats everything perfectly. Or like, do you know what a VLOOKUP is? You do this, this, and this, and boom, you can find anything. So she basically puts out these little clips on TikTok, but it's not just the content, like the way she does it. It's like, what works on TikTok? It's like cute, cute girls, dancing, humor. Like these are the things that like work on TikTok. And so she does that. She's like, she'll put a song like that's like a trending song on TikTok. Um, she'll dress up. She'll be, she'll have the screen screen share behind her and she's kind of overlaid on top of it. And then she's showing something funny. That's or like something that's happening. She's explaining it quickly and in an entertaining way. So she's, uh, she's, here's her story. She's a consultant, um, Still? kind of a boring job. She was a consultant and she decided, and you know, there's a lot of consultants and bankers that if you watch them use Excel, they won't touch a mouse. Like they just use a keyboard like a wizard and like they could just do everything just by hitting like shortcuts and macros on their on their keyboard in Excel. There's actually a lot of people that can do this. My so friend she, who, who used to work at BCG, basically, they had a mouse with like a wired mouse that was clearly cut. The cord was cut <laughs> and they like it was like in a frame on the wall. And they're like, that's what you're going to do here. The mouse. Is that's cut. what this needs to look like. Yeah. You don't use the mouse. Exactly. Uh, and I don't know how any of this works, but uh, I've definitely seen a bunch of friends who can do this. They, it's kind of amazing when they're doing it. So she basically took that idea and started turning it into interesting clips. So she starts off and she tells a story where she's like, you know, um, I wanted to like try making some content and, uh, you know, TikTok, I felt embarrassed because like, isn't TikTok like for kids? And like, it's just like the silly thing to do. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't make a TikTok account. I'm a consultant. And then her gut was like, you should do a TikTok. And so she listens to her gut. She makes a TikTok. And pretty quickly, I think like within the first week or so, she goes viral with one or two clips and she gets over like 100,000 views. And she's like, holy shit, this is awesome. And so she does it again and she does it again. And then she starts in, she's like buys a little ring light and gets a green screen so that it looks a little bit better. And she does it again. She gets a video that gets a million views. And it's like, wow, this is amazing. And so she starts branding herself. Amazing branding, by the way. Miss Excel. Like she is the one. She is the Excel woman. And um and so I thought that was great. And so she, she starts doing this and she, she's getting popular, but she's not making any money. And uh, she reaches or who, who, what happened? Morning Brew reaches out. They're going to do a future story on her. And they're like, oh, we want to feature you. And at the same time, a business coach reached out to her and was like, hey, I saw you have this like really great following. I think your, co your content is super unique. Um, you know, and she was like, yeah, it's great. I'm going to be featured on Morning Brew. They're like, awesome. Like, what do you have to sell? She's like, oh, I don't sell anything. It's all free content. And they're like, if you're going to get featured, you should have something to sell. And she's like, okay, challenge accepted. You're right. Uh, I'm going to make a course. And so she decides to make a course. She's never done it before. And I think she had like something like two weeks or something to like pull this whole thing off. And she rushes to do it. Now let's fast forward to today. She is making courses and she is making um, six figures a month off this thing. So she's making single digit millions a year. She has a few days of the year where she's made six feet over a hundred thousand dollars on a day in course sales. That's kind of like her black Friday, um, or black Friday special or whatever, where she, where she sold her course. And so she's doing millions of dollars a year and she's working towards million, a million dollar month. That's like her goal. I want to hit a million dollars a month as miss Excel. And she is like, Microsoft loves her. They're like pumping her up. Um, you know, she's featured in Business Insider. She's featured in like BuzzFeed. She's featured in a whole bunch of places because it's this great story. She's featured on this podcast right now. And so she is doing amazing. What I love about this is she quits her job as a consultant. She now works 15 hours a week, unless she's making a course, like, but just like a normal thing. She's, she's doing 15 hours a week. She has one employee, which is an overseas virtual assistant. Her cost structure is that overseas virtual assistant, which I'm guessing is making something like six to $10 an hour. So, you know, probably paying them like $500 a month ballpark. Plus uh, she pays $97 for Thinkific, uh, which is the course platform. 
and she pays a video editor to um, to edit the videos for the course. So like all in all, her expenses are probably like sub fifteen hundred dollars, maybe sub two thousand dollars at the time. And um, she's making six figures a month. So she's profiting, um, you know, at least one hundred thousand dollars a month uh, doing this thing. And um, there was a whole bunch of like different little nuggets in there that I liked. But that's the the overall story. Quick, quick reaction to that. Amazing. I don't think it's going to maybe it will last. Maybe so that was that was my initial instinct. I was like, but awesome, take it, grab, awesome grab run. It. I mean, but like, yeah. you know, who knows if this is here two years from now. And then I changed my mind when I kind of read her read a little bit more about her. Here's what I liked. OK, so we had talked about Excel way back maybe a year ago when i when we were talking about i was going to create a course and we had done a deep dive of what are the best courses it's always um, excel that, it, microsoft excel is always in the top if you go to teachables top courses udemy's top courses learning to master excel is always in the top like 10 earning courses and I you, think, you know it's hard to be the Anker, one but it's a topic people will pay for anchor from teachable he's got a he's a good twitter follow he uh tweets out some of the biggest earners, he won't explicitly say who they are, but he'll say one earner, we just paid their, you know, we, they just crossed 20 million in, in revenue or in like earnings. Yeah. And then he'll also say like the top course is this Excel thing. So you can kind of <laughs> right. like triangulate. It. And, exactly. And, and I, on Udemy, it, I think I was able to do this as well. I was able to search and sort for the top best selling courses and Excel was in the top as well. Top that's 10. amazing. And um, so I think Excel has real demand. Then the question is, Who's going to be the best brand in the Excel space? And she's the horse I would pick. So yeah. um, why do I think that? First is her content is fundamentally better. She took the most, um, she has the best top of funnel. So what's her top of funnel strategy? It's highly exciting, quick hitting, snack sized TikTok videos. TikTok itself is like the crack cocaine of content, right? Like 10 seconds video um, with music overlaid, that is crack cocaine for content. And she's using that for Excel when all the other Excel creators are like bloggers and shit like that. It's like a stale old thing. Then her brand and her personality, Miss Excel, good looking woman who understands how to do content. And, um, and she, I know she understands the content. She, so she's a little bit, when I was researching her, she, is really into some of the shit I'm into. That's really like kind of like off the beaten path. So she was like, yeah, she's like most people when they think of content strategy, like especially for, for, for this space, B2B type of content, she's like, it's always like strategic, intellectual, trying to figure it out. She goes, I spend most of my time just getting into a certain state of mind. I just, she's like, I just get into a, she goes, she goes, she, this is her exact quote. She goes, the way I run my structure for my business is through energetics. Most people don't even know what the fuck that means. Uh, she goes, I get my energy to a place where my presence is truly magnetic. I get a vision of what's going to go viral. Then I run to my computer and I create that. And sure enough, it goes viral. She goes, because most That's content awesome. people, people don't understand content is just energy transmission. Yeah. I'm having a great time. I'm excited about this topic. And so I'm going to push that through the phone into you. And sure enough, you're going to learn something, but you're also going to smile while you're watching my shit. You're also going to laugh while you're watching my thing. And nobody else is doing that. And I read that and I go, she gets it. She gets like one of the most important things about business and life, which is it's like maybe able to manage your own energy. But the second part is she gets the content strategy in a way that I don't think anybody else is going to really get in this in this space. Did you the see another thing? thing is, is, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. She now has scale. So at first I was like, oh, OK, but she's just like an individual creator on TikTok and like. Who knows, maybe TikTok algorithm changes. No, so here's what she's doing. She basically is like, I'm gonna scale in two ways. First, she's expanding into the whole Microsoft suite. So it's not just Excel, she's doing PowerPoint and Word and Outlook and like everything that like, you know, a billion people on earth have to use professionally. And so, and Microsoft is helping her. And every time they're releasing a new thing, she's getting first look at it and she gets to come out right away with the content that's gonna highlight this new function or this new feature that you get to be able to use. So. That expansion gives it more legs than just Excel. The second thing is she now hired a performance marketing agency and she's like, yeah, get my brand to grow. And she's like, the beautiful thing is I don't sell my course. I just put one my most viral thing and I put ad spend behind it and people love it. Like they love that content. And so they like it, they comment on it. So Facebook's algorithm promotes it. And so I was like, oh, that's kind of an unstoppable like flywheel. She's going to keep creating this like juicy, like quick life hack type content. Um, then she's promoting it 
uh, that's already inherently viral. Then she's putting a paid ad spend behind it. She's growing her following on Instagram now, plus TikTok, plus YouTube, plus all these different places. Um, and she's like, oh yeah, Reels came out. So then I just like jumped on Reels and I became like one of the most viral Reels creators on Instagram. And um, so I'm like, okay, now she's diversifying the audience and she's got the courses behind it and she's going into more, more parts of the suite. I like that formula. I was wrong. She's going to she, she's gonna I, crush it. I like, think she's going to get to, my bold prediction, she's going to get to $100 million in sales. And that sounds outrageous. I was about, to say, I was about gonna, to say 100 million. I think she could, I think you could do, uh, I think 100 million a year or a lifetime? A year. Uh, yeah, I actually agree with you. I think that's bold. I think likely she'll get to like $25 million a year in revenue and could probably actually do that for many years. Right. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so, I'm on so board. I think it's crazy. Um, so I loved, I loved her thing. I, there was also these other little nuggets. So she basically, she's working 15 hours a week. So then she's like, oh, cool, quit my job. I'm going to be a digital nomad. Something you kind of did this last year. She's like, every month, me and my boyfriend, we just moved to a different state and we just want to experience it. So they'll just move to a different state in America and just like hang out there for the month and then they hop around. And uh, the other thing that she's, uh, the other nuggets I, li I liked was she does these like webinars because she understands there's like a top of funnel. So top of funnel, if you don't know, is basically like how you get new customers to even like get in touch with you, get in, get Which into your in this orbit. Case is it's just going viral on TikTok. Going viral on TikTok or Instagram or, or YouTube. Great. Then she has the middle of funnel, which is where a lot of people fall out, which is, okay, you've touched base with me once. And you're not ready to buy something just yet, but how do I actually get you to participate in a deeper way, to invest in a deeper way? And for her, she runs these webinars and she calls them high energy Excel parties. And so she, she invites people to these. And what happens is it's, of course, it's like, someone from bcg and then they go and they're like oh this is amazing then they're like hey we'd like to buy like 1500 seats for our for your course for our company you know like or hey i work for target uh corporate training and uh yeah we have twenty five thousand employees that we think would be benefit from this how do how, could you create something custom for us and it's gonna be like yeah here's the same thing but now i say the word target at the beginning and i charge you you know five million dollars for it 